what up everybody this is mitch Durrell, and before we get into the video okay just hear me out i got three huge favors to ask okay three typical youtube favors okay so one can you hit the like button okay the like button just that just that little thumbs up you can just you just click that real quick we'd appreciate that second thing can you hit the subscribe button okay i know i know it's a lot to ask i know you subscribe you know you're really really stingy with who you subscribe to but i, I promise you will not regret it if you could subscribe to us and the third thing, if you could hit the bell, just so you'll be notified anytime we post anything, okay? So those three favors, I, you know, I'll be forever indebted to you. I appreciate it, okay? And while you're at it, if you could go ahead and go and check out my guys at tbk247.com as we change the culture for God. Peace. So, like, how did, did you know about Christian hip hop already? Like, how did you learn it? Cause I, so me, I was really late to even knowing about, like I knew who Lecrae was. That was like it until maybe like 2016. Like I didn't know Christian hip hop was a thing. So like, how did you find out about it? If that makes sense. Uh, so uh, when I was slowly starting to get back into running to Christ, uh, one of the youth ministers at uh, the church I was attending at the time, uh, she had asked me to rap at church, and I was like, "You can rap about God, like that's the thing." That's the thing. <laughs> I thought it wasn't, and then she said, "Yeah," and it was this other rapper coming in. His name was like Chico, bro. It was he's still like cool to talk to every good morning, bro. But uh, he was coming in. He said, "Yeah, bro, we're gonna rap over the Eminem 25 the Light Beat," and I was like, "I never heard the song." Right. So I ran back home, grabbed my mom's laptop, and I typed in Eminem 25 the Life Christian rap something, bro. And for some reason, the first song that popped up wasn't even that. It was McCray Don't Waste My Life. Wow. And I clicked on it and I was like, they actually rapping about Jesus. <laughs> and I remember running to my mom's room, telling her about it. It was dope. And then next thing you know, I found Cannon's Eagles. Yeah. And I was like, oh snap, I put the whole team on it. <laughs> it was just, it was from then on, I, I fell in love with Christian hip hop, not even thinking about doing the genre. I just fell in love with what it was. Like people actually rapping about God and it was hard, bro. Got you. So, no, nah, it's super dope. So you kind of touched on it a second ago, but like you are definitely known for doing features and collabs. So I don't know if you even, if it's possible to remember this, but do you remember the first feature you did? The first time someone was like, yo, can you be on a song of mine um, or anything like close to that? Uh, I can't count my family because I'd be cheating. Right. But I think <laughs> It was forever ago. What was this man's name? It was crazy because it was the first time I heard of Portia Love before she popped up. It was oh, this really? Dude, uh, dang, what was it? I think it was this dude named Church Boy Will. Mm -hmm. We decided to hop on a song, and I didn't know what turned into this. That was the first one that I did with you, like in general, bro. You know what you know, year that was? Damn, bro. Uh, <laughs> I think like 2015, 2016. Wow, I can't remember. So a minute ago. So, yeah. what? How do I explain this? So like, did you ever make a conscious decision to be like, I want to be super accessible. I want to do as many features as God will allow me to do. Like, I just want to work. Like, when did you, is that just something that happened? Was it like your goal? No, nah, uh, so intentionally it wasn't because I wanted to do what everybody else does. I'm about to be marketable to myself and you finna have to want me on your song. I'm gonna tell you no. That was my mindset until it happened to me. And God said, see, I told you not to be like that. You're about to shift a whole momentum, make a whole momentum shift in a genre. And I was like, man, God, I can't do that. No one knows who I am. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna name the artist, but it was a live stream of an artist when I was first coming. It was like the first time Rapzilla ever posted me. I'm excited, you know, yeah. we all are. When Rapzilla first nice. posted, bro. And uh, when they first posted me on there, I'm excited. I felt confident. I was in somebody, a bigger artist live stream. And I was just like, man, please let me get a chance on song, blah, blah, blah. And he said, I don't even know you. And then I was like, I just got posted on Rapzilla. I promise you, that means I'm good. Right, right. I was like, no, you're trash. Like, oh, no. You said you're trash. And it's a Christian hip hop artist. Me and him have talked about it. We cool. We had I'm not putting the information out there. And he's a pretty big artist today. But uh, he sat there and basically told me no. And I'm like, dang, bro. Like, because... I didn't have clout. I can't get a feature from you. Even if I was willing to pay, you didn't yeah. want to work with me because I wasn't cool enough. And it like lit a fire inside of me. And on that night, I sat there and I ran to my mom because I was hurt, bro. I, I'm like, dang, I thought, like, I saved up. Like, I, I mm -hmm. asked some people that knew his price mm -hmm. and everything. And it wasn't because of the talent. It was because I wasn't cool. And I sat there and I said, man, I'm never going to be that guy. And from that moment on, I'm like, I'm working with everybody. 
Mm-hmm. And bro, that was at the time where I was doing features for like ten dollars just right. because I'm like, bro, I need something because I'm about to try my hardest to get my all on this. But bro, like, I want to get on everybody's song. And before I knew it, it turned from one feature to three hundred, right. <laughs> and then from three hundred to five hundred. So I don't went through three different computers oh and deleted goodness. files to save space. That and that's how it is, bro. It's crazy. Now, like, I respect that a ton because, like, I so I got started in Christian hip hop probably around. 2018 I guess and I remember I had this song um called Loving You it was back when I did my so I did my yeah. Dreadhead Lando uh yeah, I remember that Star thing. Wars theme and I thought you were dope because you did your, your Power Rangers theme project but I was like yeah. I, I think you were the first person I like paid to be on a song of mine that wasn't like a homie of mine because I was like I want like an auto tune sounding thing but I can't do that at all um yeah. so let me hit like this guy up because he does features um and I remember you were mad quick about it and I was like, it's super dope. And I kind of, that kind of started me wanting to collab with more people. So I, I definitely respect the wanting to be accessible, not, you know, if someone wants to work with you, it kind of means something, you know, like someone seeks you out and says, I want to, I want you on my song. I feel like we should be less about like, oh, is this a great look for me? Or is it, are you good enough? How many streams do you get? You know, like this person exactly. is willing to pay you to be on their art, you know? Um, so I definitely respect you for that. And I definitely respect your work ethic because it's not like it's it takes two seconds to do a feature. Like you gotta write it, record it, save it, send it off, you know. Like how do you no, no, have the time, I guess, to to, <laughs> to do these features? Right. Uh, the best way I can say, you know, basically, uh, you know, we talked about Zico bring the job balls, like, you know, and that the thing was when he was in the valley. God said, do you believe I can bring these bones to life? He said, God, that's something only you know. And that's how I can say that to relate. Only God knows, bro. It's only 24 hours a day, and I can't explain to you how I do this, bro. Like, I don't go to sleep till, like, 5.30 in the morning sometimes. And they'll wake up at, like, 10. And it's just the dedication, because I'm like, man, somebody was willing to reach out to me, get me on a song. They want me to help them, bro, because I'm not just, like, the average guy. I'm just not going to hop on your song and not help you. Right. I'm going to use every outlet I possibly can to try to get a playlist, to try to call somebody to hop on, bro, or even pitch it out to certain people, bro. But, yeah, man, it's... Bro, it's, it's a lot, and then on top of that, you know, playing piano. Mm. I'm now a, in the process of becoming a youth pastor, and like, yeah. it's just switching ministry, bro. It's it's a lot in now YouTube, bro. It's, yeah. it's a lot, bro. Okay. So, man, only God knows, bro. Now you definitely got one of the best work ethics. I remember it's it's funny too, because like people know this. Like my guy Dayton, I remember like half a year, a year ago, he was like, "Yo, I think I got the most features in C." And before he could even finish, people were like, "Nah." Zay Hill got the most, he got like a thousand features and things like, I don't, no, 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 trust me. You, Zay has more features than you, like, cause you're just, you're known as that guy. Um, I think it's a dope thing. I'm not gonna lie, so when I was younger, I would say like, you know how we have to all go through this identity crisis type thing when we're younger? That's good. Like, yeah, kind of, like you you don't want to be like- the- Friends, any friends. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so do, in- do wonders like AI anomalies. Her- I know that, right? Saga, who was on, on, on St. Beats. You're definitely more lyrical, so like you're not. I actually knew a guy in Miami that he was going to the same church. And I tweeted like last week that someday I'm gonna have a song with him. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Um, so. <laughs>